idly build something while hey, the episode. <laughs> hey, Matt. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Hey, you screwed yes. it up. That's okay. I it's okay. They it. love it. They love it. So you, you, you said you want to do a, a, a V build or a live build? Is what that what you're saying? We got there, Eggman. Didn't you have that last this, time? Uh, this is Lego Ideas Voltron. <laughs> oh, I got an early test of it. You're right. They yeah. did change every piece. They changed a lot, but I mean, not, not one brick went untouched. So each leg comes off. There's the yellow lion. <laughs> I'll form the leg. Here's the green lion. No, I the green should not be blue. Even a fight. That would that should be blue. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm the snobs are gonna get me now. Yeah, they are. I'm I'm not down with the uh, rainbow combiners. So um. Sorry to most combiners, but I'm not down. But hey, welcome to Building Up To It, episode 16. Thanks for checking us out. We're here to stay. Uh, I got a different background, but I think I had that last week, and Paul was really, really caught off guard by it. What did I get besides not all of the classic stuff from Walmart? I got a Ninjago City. It's a little shipper still. I'm going to start building that on a... A secret new show that you don't know about yet. That's I, I think I think not on my channel. I, I host enough shows. Somebody else can have this one. <laughs> uh, but there's a secret new show that that you, you know you don't have to watch. But that's it for me. I got. Weren't you I got, also gonna bring? Weren't you also supposed to build Assembly Square? Did you ever build that one? Oh no! I I realized this is what I actually wanted. This is what I really wanted. The yeah. Assembly Square was just uh, in my face and. And it wasn't. It was detective office. It's hard to turn. It's hard to turn that down when it's right there. Yeah, yeah. When it's right there in front of me and it's cheap. But I also got Train Famer Dinosaur. (laughs) I love the name. That's neither here nor there. Train Famer (laughs) Dinosaur. Yeah, because it's Uh, the lizard. How about you, Paul? Um, I didn't. I did start building a couple things. So I started building um, the. old fishing shop where I started building it again. Like I only had done about half of it, but I had forgotten to take any pictures. So the only picture that I do have um, is one that uh, I took this just earlier today. <laughs> I took it earlier today and I'm actually kind of proud because I was uh, very excited to, to get to pull all of them out. Um, I found a couple, I found a non Lego item, which is the, uh, was it Mega Construct Skeletor? But I thought, huh, I have a lot of skull-themed Lego minifigures that that would go with. And I also have Power of the Primes, uh, Prime Master Skull Grin as well. So this is oh, my skull such a feature. Great use of skull. money. It's like a <laughs> Target Power God Master Pretender Shell nonsense. Dude, I love this thing. These those, those little pretenders are awesome. Um, if they were bigger, I wouldn't want it. But I do like them in this size because they're just kind of like fun. The, I like the Macbeth minifigure. Yeah, I, <laughs> I like him a lot. Uh, he he's he's always a fun one. Um, I liked him a lot when he when he was in the uh, the, the series as well. Um, most of these are, of course, uh, blind bag CMF figures. Um, still don't know who this guy is. Ooh. I think it's Diablo, but I think that may have been changed. No, it's, it's Doctor Someone Plasters. else, right? Yeah, Matt. Oh yeah, that's Plasters. right. Dr. That's right. It's never changed. We just figured a, it out. It's Dr. P over here. Um, and then there's the Halloween. I like his, I like his cut off guy. jeans, though. I never noticed those. Daisy Dukes. <laughs> right? The doctor is in Daisy Dukes. <laughs> cut off jeans, right? The classic <laughs> skeleton is my favorite because he's yeah. got the wobbly arms. That's the thing. I didn't. It's been so long since I took out a classic skeleton. I didn't realize they had different arms and they they, they connected really differently than than say this one, um, the, uh, the 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 more recent arms. ones. Yeah, exactly. And these are much more fun, though less stable, of course, and can't really hold a pose for for play. But well, he's skeleton. they're skeletons. He's they're not supposed to. Exactly. Exactly. It's it's this is far less accurate <laughs> than this skeleton that's running around. Um and then of course is the Halloween suit one, which I just find entertaining. Um I really like that one a lot. I like the the painting on his mask. He's got the he's got the the elastic band around it and everything like that. And I forgot what the name mm-hmm. of that is. I know Dust knows exactly what brand of of a uh, costume those were called. But yeah, uh but yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was a big fan. But uh, that is all that I have uh, as far as Lego things that I have photographed and can talk about this week. How about you, Matt? Uh, I got one minifigure. 
I got the Hemleys uh, exclusive. Hemleys. Polybag um, gunless Royal Guard, which I gave a stick, which I just happened <laughs> to have in a bag of Lego here because I also I picked up uh, Lego Dimensions, whoever this is from Chima, because she had claws and she was like $3. And I needed some claws for my Kabuki twins, which I got on Bricklink. So now I have three of clawless? the four. Yeah, they were yeah, flawless. Bricklink doesn't do the handhelds as part as the uh, part of the minifigure because it's a real slippery slope when like unless unless mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like if you look at that Deadshot figure they did where the gun is like a hundred pieces. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> like twenty pieces, but still. That's like you're gonna give him half the set? What if he's holding the vehicle he's in? Like you're gonna give him the whole vehicle? It's a slippery slope. Whatever. Yeah, Hulk I guess that's holding. true. Like a Hulk figure holding like the Empire State Building. <laughs> it's so I, I can see it particularly being an issue with your was it ninety two piece wing set for Vulture? Is that what it was? Something like that. It was close to that many. <laughs> that one I, I didn't actually look it up. I forget if um that's part of the minifigure or not. Uh, Paul, did you get a poster when you went to see that movie uh, yesterday? I did. I, th- I thought did that was a picture see it? Or a poster. I, I mean, I saw <laughs> the picture of the poster, but I, I didn't couldn't tell if that was a poster that they gave you or just a, a weird. Angle. Yeah, that was a po- it was a it was a poster they gave us. Um, I grabbed another one in case you wanted it or something like that. Um, I can always send it to you when I ultimately and finally send you <laughs> a bunch of bricks to put in your shop. But uh, um, I can always do that if you want. Um, maybe. For those maybe. wondering, um, uh, Chris is talking about the uh, the Mazinger Z Infinity, um, I guess, limited featurette that they had at certain movie theaters in, in the U.S. Um, it was like so. every theater near me. That was is it a really? About, like, None were spared. Bus. It was any theater I wanted to go to had it, and it was once on Sunday in the middle of the day, and once on Monday in the evening. Yeah, damn. I only there were only a few around me that had it. There happened to be one that was on my way home from work, but I had to leave a little bit early to get there in time. And uh, one thing worth mentioning, of which we figured out about the Hemleys Royal Guard, for any of those who may have the CMF Royal Guard, he doesn't come with a gun, but he does have medals on his chest uh his collar is slightly different and there's no holes in his belt as are his buttons but uh you know for the most part looks good and he's smiling (laughs) why is he so happy but Um, he does have angry eyebrows so he's mm. like about to like get real i think that's that's a, a unique face and torso print on that thing but the legs and the big old hat are the same Yes, the big old hat. Is big old hat. Are the legs just black? That's what yes. mine are. Or the, the the original one. The the CMF one is just black legs. Yeah, straight up black. All right. Matt, you get anything else? Are you good? No, I, I have a slow week. Okay, well, I think <laughs> Paul's got something for us. A shout out. I do have a feature. And uh, as I once again call up my screen share, I will just say... Matt, it's about time you had a slow week. All you do is have huge weeks of Lego purchases. Well, I got a bunch of like pins and stuff, but <laughs> I have like no more mail coming. Oh, that's not true. I have some head I have some ear earplugs coming in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta get it in before Chinese New Year, I suppose. Yeah. Um anyway, I am choosing to spotlight or feature. Matt didn't um, buy no earplugs on Wish. <laughs> you get that shit on Amazon. That's why uh, I'm I am featuring this week um, an Instagram user named. Well, actually, I'm not sure exactly, but I'm going to assume it's one two Asian Abu. Um, so that's at one two A Z N A B U. What if he's twelve Arizona Nabu? I well, think he's he could Arizona be. Nabu. Yeah, he could very well saying. be. But the fact that he is from uh, Indonesia, which is actually my the homeland of my ancestors, uh, I, I would imagine Asian, definitely Asian, and Abu in in Indonesian means uh, kind of like it's dust. Pronounced, it's pronounced Indonesia. <laughs> Indonesia. Say, say dust. It does. It, yep. It, it is. Messiah. It is kind of. It it means translated. Uh, kind of 
immediately would, would be closest to dust. Um, so it could be that, though there are slang usages of the term, so it's hard to say exactly what he's going for. Does but anyway. Any pictures of the air fryers? <laughs> it went to Asian dust mites massy. Um, but th th there would be no pictures of... There'd be no pictures of Lego if it were our dust. It would be purely pictures of cats and uh, air fryers and ribs. Uh, it would be pretty much everything. But anyway, I am featuring this Instagram photographer, I guess, for lack of a better term, because of his amazing and very well-composed photography shots that he does. He makes little uh, vignettes with his Lego minifigures in nature for the most part. Um, and I think he does a really good job with the photo composition that actually gets them to be very, very well done. And it looks like they could be real life photos for the most part. Um, first one I'll, I'll kind of spotlight is got, um, just his, his most recent picture, um, has some kind of mix and mash of pieces of looks like the collectible minifigure, um, kind of the, the the mountain hiker that they had, and also a Mrs. Claus figure with some other with some other <laughs> features on her. Um, and he took a picture of those figures specifically next to some tree roots, and it actually does make it look like they are hiking in nature. Um, and uh, I think that actually worked out very well. And again, it's all about the composition of the photo and the, the, the right focus and on, on there and having the right kind of things blurred out, um, which would probably feature well in a, in a J. Ruse photography uh, feature as well. And they're just stopping to have a salty, salty pretzel. Very salty pretzel, okay. indeed. Take a break, old travelers. <laughs> hey, old Here's travelers. A... <laughs> Here's a shot of the uh, Lego Batman Series 2 um, Joker, the, the kind of the beachfront Joker with his uh, with his uh, inflatable ducky um, in whatever that thing is called. What is that thing called? Uh, the, 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 the flotation popsicle. device, I guess. Yes, he does have a popsicle as well. But he's actually floating in the water, which, which works out well. Um, to actually make this a, a again a, a shot as if this was a real a, a real picture that someone to happen to be taking. I assume Harley Quinn taking this picture of Mr. J uh, floating around in the sea. Another good one there. Um, and then just lots flare. of it <laughs> does need more lens flare. Um, but uh, just, he's got a lot of pictures of his figures in boats in the water. So clearly he is somewhere What's near the, water. <laughs> What's the uh, down one in the middle? Is that a? This is a common rider figure. I don't know if there are like this is an official one or if this is uh, like a a uh, I don't know a a, a Shingwan Shangwan figure or whatever. But um, there are no Lego um, there are no Common Lego Rider. Common Rider figures. That that much I do know is true. So I'm not sure who makes this one. So uh, that's, a, that's again, a, a Hot Wheels uh, dirt bike there. Um, and I which, assume this is a Lego T-Rex, right? That, that part yeah, seems yeah. to be correct. That's a Lego, um, but the, I mean, the motorcycles, like one of those Hot Wheels ones that they've been making lately that can fit a uh, any standard building block minifigure hand grips. I did not realize they made those. That could be kind of interesting. I mean, I sure, if you, like, if you like uh, you know, not using Lego in your Lego photo. Uh, whatever. Uh, to, he's enhancing his thing. As, assuming he buys other ones that have Lego, then that's fine. I'm fine with it. Uh, but yeah, here this must be some uh, some other non-Lego um, uh, non motorcycles. Uh, but what I like about this legs. one is... Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I like the most is, is the creative use of the legs um, for these for these figures here to actually make it look like they're either riding the motorcycle or sitting cross-legged, uh, enjoying a nice ice cream cone on said motorcycle, or whatever it might that be. That would not be easy to do. <laughs> no, it's not. It's I'm gonna just, I'm gonna assume sit on a motorcycle like, like that with ice cream. No way. <laughs> Seems like a, an awfully dangerous thing to do. You don't want to get ice cream on those leather seats, but. Uh, Hey, if you're a stormtrooper riding a motorcycle, what do you care? It makes no difference to you. Um, additionally, we have... I don't know if this is a Look real a baby turtle. Or if that's, if that's a toy baby turtle. Um, and... Uh, I'm digging the stick. I can't, the stick I can't translate that. Yeah, the stick is... I, I don't know where that stick is from. That's not a Lego piece, right? No, it, it's an oh, actual that's stick. stick. That's <laughs> and that's, stick that's even more impressive. It's the size of like a stirring straw. 
Uh, but it is a stick, so it fits perfectly in his minifigure let me, hands. Let me take a crack at this. It says, Nemu to kick the Kanaungan Baduk Baduk. <laughs> good call. So for those of you who uh, those of you who uh, understand that, good for good for you. Let us know if the, if it explains exactly what kind of stick that is, or if this is a real turtle. To be honest, I should probably know what that means, but I don't. So I'm not I'm not, I'm not going to dwell on it. But uh, uh, it can't be a real turtle. It doesn't like have any seams. You know, it's like too smooth. I guess it is pretty smooth. Um, so I guess it must be a toy turtle then in that case. But it seems to be in, in, in perfect scale with a Lego minifigure. Um, Lens so flare. That, so that works oh, out. Oh, hang on. Okay, I'm going to translate this. There you go. You keep going there. <laughs> Look at that lens flare. Look at them bubbles. <laughs> What's our YouTube name again? One, well, two, A, Z, N, A, B, U. It's a Nemu to kick the Kenungan Brakburuk. I think it's worth knowing what he means by that. <laughs> what did you mean when you said Brak Baruk? <laughs> I like this picture a lot. There you go. It's a bucket, a bucket, bucket. <laughs> Nemu dive in um, the kick of the bucket. There you go. Say again. Nemu dive in the kick of the bucket of the Baduk bucket. I don't know. <laughs> Internet. <laughs> yeah, well love Google Translate. That works out well. But uh, another, some other ones that I like. Here's another picture of Aquaman from the Justice League movie. Uh, if any of you have seen it, you know he's an angry drunk, comes in and out of the water as he pleases. So in this case, he's coming out of the water literally with a bottle of booze and uh, and his trident. Which is unfortunate it that aqua it's, it's a it's, <laughs> aqua that, that that I do know aqua is actually a brand of water like 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 potable water that they sell in like water bottles because you cannot drink the water in Indonesia out of the sink because it is not clean or purified you have to drink out of the bottles and aqua is their biggest brand. Ooh. And uh, I do notice this, he does have indeed an actual trident that the official trident that came with the sets even though in the movie. He did not actually have a trident. He had like five. There are five prongs on his, which would make it not a trident, as I would yeah. imagine. So that's Quin, a, that's a Quin Quin dent. pentadent. <laughs> Quindent, pentadent. <laughs> Here's another one that I that I do like. I, I like the. Uh, oh, that's, the that's cool. This is this has been some enhancing here, but I believe the uh, the werewolf is a legit is a legit minifigure. The claws are Wolverine claws, I believe. I don't think these are the um, yeah. the same as your. Uh, Kabuki twin claws, and then the stake. Yeah, they I are. Think that's that's the same claw same piece. Claw, same claw. The only thing that changes oh, is, is the color. Ah, I didn't realize the Kabuki twins had the uh, Wolverine claws. I thought they had the ones that look like. Uh, I don't know. Were they in like Prince of Persia? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, but he's also on a skeleton horse, which we talked about in uh, in in one of our features. I think uh, was that back in the in the the castle he's, feature. He's eating. Yeah, a horse. had to have been. Yeah, that- and he's eating a, a T-bone steak, which I think that is from the That horse had a T-bone steak? No way! <laughs> all horses have a T-bone steak. I guess that's true. We've all we've all got a T-bone steak. I mean, horses are just skinny cows. <laughs> that's what I keep here. And let's see. Which, uh, which other one I think? I'll do, we'll look at one more here, I think, before we uh, jump off his page. Which one do we like the oh, most? Batman, go up. I like oh, the ring, ring one. That <laughs> man kicking the ring girl. Yeah, Samara. I like that. What's her name? Samara? Sadako, maybe? No, I think her name's Samara. So this guy just buys collectible minifigures and takes lots of photos. That uh, The background is actually the um, Big Bang Theory set. Yes. Oh, you're Bam. right. It totally is. Bam! Good call. Got it. Based on the scale, I'm thinking that uh, that this is a picture of the of the Big Bang Theory set too. It's not even the Big Bang Theory set. It's it's the box. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's it. But we all know it's hashtag Road to Ninjago Movie Screening, and also hashtag TGA Illuminati. <laughs> let's 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 check that one out. Yeah, let's check that one out, and then we'll then we'll move oh, on. Dang. This is all like toy photography stuff. And um, some very good pictures, to be honest. They they do oh, they, you know what the, those using I the hashtag. That would be Toy Group Alliance. Ah, there you go. 
I mean, who who is who is ever against the toy group though? Like, why do they need an alliance? <laughs> well, hashtag yeah. realm of collectors. <laughs> and why <laughs> do look at this Illuminati within? Yo, look at this was, picture of, of, of fucking trunks. That is a bad I was looking, looking at some BBZ figures at Target this morning, and I was like, uh, uh, I might, uh, I might, but I might not. But I might. If you're, but, but if you're gonna do shouldn't... DBZ figures, do the the, the figures DBZ line is not that expensive. It's like no, no, I, I don't, I don't like. Bucks. I'm not a big DBZ fan. Like I just want Napa, and that's it. So, but if they made a Napa in that like twenty dollar whatever the main line one is that Target has, I would buy the that. All stars or whatever. Like, yeah, I'd be like, good forget enough. that figure arts. That's good enough for me. But as yeah, it stands no, right now, I, they're only I, making I like eight forms of Goku. So, <laughs> as there should be. But anyway, so yes, oh, yeah. once again, that was uh, that was our feature. Great job, one two Asian Abu. Uh, good. Or I should uh, pronouncing it slightly more Indonesian Asian Abu. Uh, good job, buddy. I like your photography skills, and I like your pictures because you feature many figures and nature, which I think makes for a very well composed shot. Well, nice yeah, Jones wasn't a CMF, but like almost everything else looks like he just. Well, not CMF, but oh no, sorry, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, uh, I think like, you are in general absolutely yeah. correct. I'm, I, yeah, I'm I seeing he... almost nothing, almost nothing that's not uh, CMF parts, just kind of rearranged. Like the T-Rex. Exactly. He does a lot yeah. of that, and does use a lot of Hot Wheels. It seems because here's some more with Hot Wheels. Those are definitely the one with the orange, the one with the Joker's, and that's definitely one of the Hot Wheels. They made a bunch. They keep coming out with them. I saw another one this morning. It's just Hot Wheels that have grips and like studs because it's Mattel, and Mattel has Mega Brands, and Mega Brands makes uh, Mega Constructs. You know that they kept their Duplo line as Mega Blocks, but then their system line is Mega Constructs. That's how they're differentiating. It's almost worth no, not worth thinking about. It is. <laughs> it, it is not worth thinking about. Anyway, thank you, Paul, for your, your shout out there. No problem. Here's a sleepy Pikachu uh, just so you can uh, see on, on our way. Oh, look, there's also a little stitch on our way out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're gonna look at so we're gonna we're gonna go into the wayback machine. As soon as my screen share wants to start. <laughs> so we're gonna be talking about retro stuff and how they've been coming out with all these really classic things in the last few years. And it, how, as I said on Instagram, if you're not collecting these, then you're not a true Lego fan. Sorry. Indeed. Because uh, you were instantly excited. Like the second that sixty years the brick got got teased on the calendar, you yep. were super pumped, and you knew immediately you were going to get it, and you were all about this line. I've got two and, of them uh, sitting here next to me. I haven't opened one yet because who has time? But I got two of them right here. <laughs> exactly, and it is so. It is one. I'm glad that these are coming out. I I I love what they do for the brand itself to celebrate Lego as as. as as Lego and, and and the amazing things that they've done, but also for someone like you who now has something that they are. I, I like the fact that it's kind of bringing you out there to to legitimately collect for things that you really want to get, as opposed to yeah. As as we've talked or about no, before, when you when you are re when you're reselling <laughs> Lego, you tend to look at it that way. But this way now that now this is just this is all stuff that you actually want and love again. Yeah. So this um this is how. The in the recent years that everything started, this is from 2014. In 14, 15, and 16, Lego put out. At, I feel like it was in the first quarter of each year. They put out this little box. It's um, it's like a five by seven box, and you had to spend a certain amount. So it's it's very similar to 60 years of the brick, but um. They skipped over 17, and when we knew this was done. But this was the first one. It was a spaceman and a little robot. And it comes in this box. It slides out. There's, like, two little tape seals on the little thumb punch parts. That, not that they're thumb punch, but they're little cutouts. But the box slides out. It's got um, a border, so it's got a nice tray. It's like a matchbox. And it comes with exactly what you see here. 
There's a white spaceman with the new helmet. It has a little robot that's reminiscent of the um, classic space robots and the Blacktron, Futuron, all that robots. And then it has this little booklet, which in the booklet's pretty good. It's got a bunch of pictures of old space sets, and then it's got this timeline that ends the book, but it's in, it's full of gaps. There's just so many figs They're in here even... from different space lines. Who's 98? What figure is that? 98 is the android from UFO. UFO? Okay. Yeah. All right. I always get that a little bit confused. That's either UFO or insectoids, but they were out at the same time. Um, it does yeah, seem so to be missing quite a, space, quite a bit. Classic space, <laughs> Futuron, Mtron, UFO, Life on Mars. That is actually Star Patrol, which was a factory set or designed by me set or whatever, one of those things. And then... Um, uh, Galaxy Squad. <laughs> That's it. And it came out in 14, so 13 is, I guess, the newest thing at the time. What would be on there space-wise since then? Nothing? Space Space Police? Or the, uh, the green mini figure from the uh, idea set, maybe? Uh, or or, no. or the, the ones with the, with the gold visors that they put out with like the, the shuttle ex- expedition set or, and stuff like that? Maybe those? Maybe. They don't count any of the city space themes and this oh. lineup. But it's it's a it's here's some figs, whatever, it's not all of them, it's not anything up to my standards. But it's a really cool box. Um it's got the retro logo on the top and the side and it has the the twenty fourteen branding on there. And it is I have one sealed and one opened because uh, I wanted to go through the book. I wanted to build the figures. Um and then that was followed in twenty fifteen by nope, they're out of order. Sorry. 2015, this little pirate one. That's cool. I don't Can think you zoom in at all? Maybe. Bucket. We're going to find out. There you go. This was interesting because... Ah, uh, the shark. Uh, unlike the uh, space one, which maybe it's rightfully so. I guess there's more to look at than, um, than uh, originally I was going to say. But he had a printed face. The other two both had regular classic smiles. The classic grin, as they call it. Uh, it's freaking me out how these studs on the package are lining up with the studs on the base plate. But um, <laughs> he had a, a newish bearded face. But then again, the Pirates theme was the first theme to have face prints that weren't just a classic grin. So maybe that makes sense. So this is 2015. It came with uh, the him in the little bucket with the goofy looking flag, a shark, and a little island thing with a crazy Technic palm tree of sorts it's only like it's as tall as the minifigure it's pretty small um and then it had it's a bad photo i couldn't find an actual good photo of this one unlike the other two but it has the timeline in the back again most of the book is the instructions but then at the the end it has a timeline and it's got pirates though there haven't been that many pirates like pirates one pirates two pirates three and then I think the last two are from the um, Imperial flagship set they put out, the big expensive one. Hmm. So that came out in 2015. And then this one is 2016, Classic Grin. And it is the, I don't know, Crusaders, Lion Knights, whatever we called them. But it has this uh, ballista here and, and the knight. And uh, the timeline showed... Wow, is that as far as it goes back? There might have been two pages for this one because that's not an old knight. That's Knight's Kingdom 1. Uh, These two are Knight's Kingdom 1. And then uh, Knight's Kingdom 2. And this one is like... I think this figure here at the red pants is from one of the retro minifigure Bricktober sets from Toys R Us. <laughs> and then it, which is like, why did they even put that in there? And then it's got the, um, the king, that's Nexo Knight's King there at the end. I was going to say, I think that's Nexo. <laughs> yeah. So that, that, that dude. castle was officially claiming Nexo Knights. But then again, this was out uh, two years after the space one. So I like to think of Nexo Knights as a space and castle at the same time. But that's the third one. I have all three of these opened and sealed. And uh, they're they're really cool. They hold about a 15 to $20 value for these boxes, which I think is worth it for the the package. I mean, it's, it's a cooler thing to have than the $20 boxes that Walmart was selling because there's yeah. figures like in this, them. This there's, there's actually a book like I also like the box design. 
Yeah, there's actually a booklet too, unlike the Walmart ones where it's just like, here's your here's your old set. Have fun, I guess. <laughs> Those sets are so easy you don't need instructions though, I suppose. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet I bet you you don't. But uh I, I, I got all three of these and um then they skipped a couple years and then here we are in twenty eighteen Q one we get the sixty years of the Lego brick set. Which Dude, you've I don't seen remember those old vintage ones at all. Like I don't remember those white box things ever. And I buy, assuming they come around, they came out around the same time. Like that's that's when I buy my modulars every year. So I don't know how I miss them every time. Uh, did you get the the calendar that they were putting out in Q four for the following year? In any of the recent uh, years? I, I believe so, but I don't know for sure. I can't say. The Usually cal- I look through them, look for anything of note, and then if I don't see anything of note, or if I do, I'll take note and then just throw it so out. The, the, the full 12-month calendars that they were giving out for a couple oh, no, of years. No. I only got one of yeah, those, they, I think. They gave those out for a couple of years that had coupons inside for like four different times throughout the year of the calendar. You can go to Lego Store and redeem these coupons for things, and I believe... At least uh, the space one was with the coupon from the calendar, but uh, I could be mistaken. They they were definitely like go to Lego store, buy something, get the thing. But sixty yeah, years okay. of the brick comes out, and it's almost as if this is like four different years of that previous box all in one box, and it's it's just it's a beautiful thing. It's a hell of a bargain. <laughs> it's a hell of a deal in comparison, right? <laughs> the prices are going up. I'm watching them right now. Uh, you can no longer get them for $35, which is what I paid for two of them that I'm sitting here with. They're uh, more money now. And I, I I, have a lot of faith in this set. I think it's a really good set. How much is the year of the Jip dragster going for? Yeah, what's the year <laughs> of the Jip? Two dollars sixty and years of the gym for whatever <laughs> comes free with free. it's worth um it's worth less than the I make, part value. <laughs> I'd like to make a little announcement real quick. I'm fairly certain that the April poster for my poster subscription service is gonna be the yellow castle. Ooh. Nice. So hopefully that one Sweet. sells like hotcakes. Okay. Uh oh, and then speaking, after that speaking of, wait, hold on. Speaking, speaking of, of Lego Castle stuff, uh, speaking of Lego Castle, Brink told Brink mentioned on ETR yesterday that uh, you made like you you now have like a bottle opener based on a Lego Castle bar <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, I gave I gave him one. There's a, I feel like we've talked about that. There's a set called the Guarded Inn from the Classic Castle line. It's like around Black Falcons or maybe a little bit before them. So, what's that? Eighties mid 80s castle there's a set called the guarded inn and it was basically a tavern in fact the uh the the name for it in uh the european catalogs had tavern in the name and uh there is a you know those tudor house style printed Mm -hmm. panels that they used in yellow and red i think i conveyed that well enough you know what i'm talking about i think that's a tudor style anyway i made a rectangular metal like credit card size bottle opener custom printed with that print on it and it says the the guarded in in like That's old awesome. english font and um brian and i were out to lunch uh, during ZoloCon getting them jersey turnpikes and that's a sandwich, by the way. And <laughs> I um, don't know what that meant. <laughs> that's a sandwich. Maybe someday you'll get one. <laughs> and uh, he's he was telling me about the Guarded Inn and, and that panel. And I was like, I have a bottle opener I need to give to you when we get back to my store. So I gave him one of those. And um, uh, did he show it off or was he was he using it or what was he doing? Uh, he showed it on uh, on the. On the segment, Chris Pinkerton likes to call, what'd you get? What'd you get? <laughs> All right, that's awesome. <laughs> up there, and he talked about how uh, you guys got to hang out uh, at ZoloCon. I believe he's doing a feature about ZoloCon on this week's Breaking the Mold. But um, he talked about how he went over and stopped over at your, sh- at your, sh- ugh, at your shop and then uh, got, got that, exactly that right there. You better have mentioned the Jersey Turnpike. He did not mention the Jersey Turnpike, which I Damn. don't know if I... I wouldn't have. I don't know if I would have understood it. Now, now that I actually get it, I am upset that he did not mention it. 
Yeah, what that was like a big deal for us. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I made a, made a bottle opener. You can see it. Look up Clutch's secret stash. You'll see the bottle opener. Do you have uh, any others still? Yeah, I got a bunch. <laughs> uh, yeah, save one for me. Okay, I, I got uh, some Walmart things that I want to show you, and these are really cool in concept. Oh, in ex- I didn't in execution. realize that was Matt showing it off. <laughs> I thought that was you showing it off. My bad. <laughs> What's Matt showing off? Uh, as well as, since you're sharing, you can't see. He is he is showing off the very uh, bottle opener that we are talking about right now. So <laughs> any uh, any viewers on the YouTube channel can look at Matt's window and see. Uh, he's talking about it, the credit it, card it, size bottle opener with it's said really small uh, two they look at panel. His window. <laughs> In fact, actually, I don't know if they can see. That's you what guys I'm looking at when I'm screen sharing. No, from from their view, I don't think they can see the little uh, us oh, in the corner. Not. Anyway, let's <laughs> Walmart's got these three. They were on like three days: the fifth and the and the third, the seventh and the eleventh, or something like that. Third, fifth, eleventh, third, fifth, ninth, something like that. It wasn't regular either way. Is all I know. It no, it wasn't. And it pissed me off. <laughs> they made five thousand of each one, which they didn't mention was gonna be like that limited of a run. I don't think they mentioned that it was online only either, but it was. They they did and not mention online only. You basically had to get it within the first half hour of the day between midnight and twelve thirty, and uh, then they would ship it like four days later. They're twenty dollars each, which is absurd. Uh, this one has 64 pieces. This is the first one. It was the house, which is called House. <laughs> and the packaging is great. It's got the old overalls guy up here. The old logo. It's got the 60 years logo. It's a limited edition. And this is actually a straight remake of a set from the 70s, early 70s. See, I, I wasn't um, sure if it was an existing set, so that is interesting to know. I mean, the windows are the new style window instead of that one by six with the shutters built in crazy windows from back in the cellulose acetate days. <laughs> but <laughs> but I I have the set this is supposed to be built and for sale at Warminster Brick Shop. And I, I saw this and I was like, hey, that house looks like that little house that I have on the shelf. And I go over there. I'm like, oh, it's the same house. It's blue instead of red. <laughs> on that house and the, the white is white but uh it's um it made me think that maybe the other ones are existing sets too i didn't look into it because this was the first <laughs> one i got this they're 20 bucks and now they're like easily 40 bucks which is you know yay they're numbered too so i have number 131 out of i guess 5000 uh number one number two here is the windmill which is even fewer pieces right 64 and 45 <laughs> uh, I have number. Oh man, that, that price per pound account. <laughs> yeah, this is um twenty bucks as well. I I gotta assume at this point it's based on an existing set or at least a portion of maybe one of their basic sets from the uh, early eighties. If you're familiar with the basic series uh, or universal building sets, they were also called. You're basic. So, you're basic. You got fidget spinners. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, this might be a remake of one of them. I'm sure Matt is looking into it, or maybe he's just playing with pins. I don't know. I can't see him either way. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I have this one, too. And it uh, it's, it's all right, I guess. Uh, I didn't open any of them, because apparently they have no booklet. They have no info they have no retro stuff the entirety of the goodness is on the outside of the box so that why even disappointing i mean i can get the part the, i want to see the part at value when these things are inventoried maybe they already are i want to see the part at value because it's going to be like a dollar sixty <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this is one that definitely is useless out the box because uh yeah you, you and you then uh number three the here the one that I ordered it. I got it right at midnight when it went up, and then uh, you know I I bought one of these and another bricks on a roll, and apparently that caused my order to get canceled because they said, "Hey, you bought too many bricks on a roll," even though you can go to the store and get an entire end cap worth of them now. So I didn't get this one. They're not this six dollars anymore, though. <laughs> this is uh, forty-four pieces, and uh, this one's 
pretty bad as well. <laughs> but <laughs> it, it's, the, it's the box, and it's having all three, and it's the, the collective nature of it. That's what's important. So, oh, well, I didn't get it. That's okay. Do we have anything else to show? Oh, yeah. Bricks on a roll. So this is a classic set from, I guess, last year. Maybe it's from this year. I don't know. But it's it's uh, 10715. It has regular packaging at any other store. But if you buy it at Walmart or Walmart.com, it has this retro packaging. The entire box is different. The entire contents are the same, however. I guess this one does not include the tile, the 60 years tile, I'm guessing. It's not pictured on the box anywhere, but it's great packaging. And you can pick this up. I think it's either 30 or $40. I forget. I think it's $30. Yeah, I, I've been seeing them at my Walmarts now, finally, for the first time, like just this week. And it was twenty nine ninety four. dollars Okay, I think. yeah. So, so what you do is you get this and you redeem for one of the 15,000 uh, limited edition booklets or whatever it is. So I redeemed with mine. With their, you have to have the receipt from buying it in store or online. But I redeemed for mine, and it's gonna come in the mail in like eight to ten business weeks. Uh, thanks Walmart. And <laughs> I'll see what that's about. But the set itself isn't that exciting since it's available and has been available elsewhere with different packaging. And again, this is one where it's unless you're building a lot of junk with your kids, it's not really worth opening. It's more about the packaging. I don't believe there's anything special booklet-wise inside this. And uh, then the last thing I want to talk about is these these sets that came out this year as well called Building Bigger Thinking, which is kind of like a classic box, but the classic box is for 2018. There's five, five of them. And Can what you I like about, a little bit more? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What I like about this is that they have a bunch of homages in. So it, it's a classic box. There's a bunch of bricks, whatever. But there's a bunch of homages in. Is it, what's the plural of homages? Homage, homage, homages. Yeah, I think you're right. I think homages. Many, many homage. <laughs> Multi homage box. <laughs> Maybe it's already plural, but there's many homage on, on the box with what is built. This is one of those uh, tall plastic with the two by four lid ones, which are cool. But um, let's see, what are we looking at? This is a pirate ship here. Uh, this looks like that thing that Donald Duck gets drawn into. Not Donald Duck, Daffy Duck gets drawn into in that. Uh, oh, I thought it was. I would have said it was Darkwing Duck. That will work too. And this is like the uh, shuttle adventure slash shuttle expedition with the dark orange uh, booster rocket. And the monster truck, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be any particular monster truck, is also a duck. Um, and that might not seem like so much of an homage. Oh. Let's <laughs> zoom down and go right. So this is the next one. Um, and they have these big question marks on the box, which is great. I've been seeing these are the ones I've also been seeing at stores. So this has uh, I love the lime green treasure chest right there. But this uh, underwater sculpture building here is like the uh, city of Atlantis set from the Atlantis theme. There is is that a freaking milkshake? <laughs> it, I think that's a milkshake, and there's a hockey stick as a straw, which is great. <laughs> which I don't think that's reminiscent of any set in particular this one just jumped out of me as the city of atlanta set this could yeah, be easily sure. just any creator animal um <laughs> so like there's a little airplane right here or some kind of vehicle and i, I want to say it um it's the same color scheme as existing airplanes they've made but only does, seeing half it does it, have that panel the, the 60 years the brick uh, yes, tile. and these ones all come with the same tile that you get in the 60 Years of the Brick set. Uh, the next one is a uh, so there's a there's a prompt on each one. I should mention this one. Oh, does that have a whole bunch on the top? What are all those? 
Like, will you write your... Oh, it does. They are all different. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. No. So that one is a bunch of prompts on the top, which I can't read any of. This one is how can blank make the world more fun? This is what is at the bottom of the... Uh, <laughs> something. Um, this is cool octopus here. Uh, this like rocket... This rocket with wheels here in white and orange is kind of like... It's reminding me of the uh, Lego Universe rocket. What Universe was yet another failed video game attempt from Lego. The castle is just a- any castle, nice kingdom or, or whatnot. Um, there's also a classic space-looking spaceship here. Like, Do they these come with minifigures? Because they show, they show yeah, yeah, the these box. ones. Yeah. So th- this, this spaceship could have been any other color, and it wouldn't have meant anything. It's like, yeah, sure, spaceship. It's all good. But because they make it in blue and gray and trans yellow, it's classic space. And that's great. And what is an octopus chef without a chicken and a <laughs> frying pan and a pie and a carrot? What is the what is his head? Like what piece is that? Where? I don't is, is his head a single piece? No. Not including the eyes? No, not a single piece. Oh, I, okay. I thought this is Never this mind. is a uh, window frame backwards, like a, a airplane window oh, frame yeah. or one of those yeah, castle yeah, arch window frames backwards, and then various bricks. Um, and then there's a little dragon here, which I don't know if that's purple wings awesome. on a red dragon. Doesn't really stand out to me as any of the existing dragons. Uh, but the universe rocket there, that's cool. Like you get a rocket ship and it's orange and white. It's universe. <laughs> All right, um, this one is a unicorn. This one doesn't have a prompt, it looks like, but I'm seeing All a rainbow the here. There you go. What blank is at the end of the rainbow? Oh, it's on the side yeah. of the box. Actually, there's a bunch on this one, too. Oh, you know what? It's the same the one in languages. Languages. different languages. That's all right. So that's the, what that big one had. I just couldn't read what the original prompt was. There's a rainbow here, there is a stunt plane here, which uh, you know, we've seen red stunt planes before. And this yellow remote control car here really reminds me of the um, the trauma team set from the early '90s. It was a uh, a four vehicle little town set. They were all yellow vehicles with the trans like blue windscreens, and there's a helicopter, like an ambulance, uh, a car, and a motorcycle. And I don't remember that at all. It the thing is, they were y- all yellow vehicles, and how often do you get a vehicle that is yellow? It's made out of service people. master. And it's uh, made out of people. <laughs> and and the unicorn is just a unicorn. It's a, a unicorn. It's like a unicorn Pegasus hippo. Thing. It is a hippo. <laughs> okay, and the last one uh, is this little one, and it's what will blank do for us in the future? And I'm guessing this robot is something. Do for you? What can Brown do for you? Look at this, this um toucan, toucan, and a, and a lawnmower. <laughs> He's toucan. doing karaoke. No, you're right. It's a toucan. Toucan Sam yeah. from Fruit Loops. No, toucans have the long beaks. This oh, is. I thought it was the colors that did it. This is oh, just a parrot. This is a parrot. This is just a parrot. This is a plain old parrot. Some but he's, parrot. he's got a microphone though. But the parrot is like a creator set in itself. Um, it's a go kart, not a lawnmower. But <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know what will go karts do for us in the future? I run down this robot, no doubt. Follow your there's nose. A robot. So there's a robot too. Uh, mostly the things that are standing out to me are this city of Atlantis structure here, as well as the shuttle expedition set here it's like come on those are dead giveaway uh old sets so <laughs> does that make you mad or does that make you excited no it makes me excited they're they're acknowledging like the past and all these sets that's, that's all they're doing is they're acknowledging the past and it's really cool um what do you think matt i think matt is building something he's building up matt, to it matt is muted sorry matt <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, uh, I think they're, they're cool sets. They got lots of playability, and uh, you know, if you open them up, you get to sort of 
dabble in other lines that you may not known have existed and maybe the i mean maybe when you open the books they have a little info on the atlantis line or whatever or maybe, maybe. a picture of who knows were, were you commentating the whole time but you were muted i was making i think i made some dumb comments but nothing <laughs> nothing nothing we need to go back for no <laughs> no Let's start the feature again start it again <laughs> Okay, so that's that's a little highlight of some of the throwback, retro, vintage stuff that they've put out in the last few years. And I think it's a really nice collection, getting all of them and displaying them, even just the boxes. I wonder what the boxes go for on their own. You just buy the boxes, tape them back shut, and be like, I mean, it's as good as if I didn't open them, because, <laughs> well, who knows what's in there? Nothing. <laughs> just need to seal it up again. So I didn't realize. So that with the we talked about the like fifty years of the train set or whatever, and then the other vintage sets that we, that started in two thousand fourteen. I didn't realize they were doing the kind of throwback sets at all. I thought six years of the brick was the first that I thought that they did, but I like that they do kind of the occasional. Don't forget, we've been around for a long time. Look at all the stuff that we are that we have. It's awesome. Like I, I like that they do that. Yeah, and um, they uh, they did. What was the birthday that Lego just had uh, like a couple of years ago? Within the last year, it was like the you know, the 80th anniversary of Lego or something like that. And and that was like okay, that's you know not that big a deal. But then they they go real balls out for this uh, 60th anniversary of the Lego brick itself. So. They're the kind of company that has so many milestones that they can they can have a big anniversary every year for something. Uh, yeah. I just like that they went they went really big with this one. Uh, last year was the um, 40th anniversary for Technic, I think. <laughs> you can't so really all, do it for all, <laughs> all the Technic sets had a one by three white lift arm that was printed with uh, 40 years or whatever it was on the side of it, which. They were in every set, so you know they're out there. They're not. They're not going away. They're not limited to five thousand online. Only limit one per household. But so I need to get me one of those. Um, one of those uh, lift arms from the Technic sets. But aside from that, they, they uh, sometimes they do their anniversaries in a big way. Even though they could, they could do something every year for something. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. I think it would actually be kind of fun if they. Well, not. I wouldn't want it every year because then it would be just great. They're they're milking another anniversary again. But I, I like. I think that they should do this kind of thing as to kind of homage and honor their their the real the real classic lines. So your pirates, your castles, like like all those kinds of things. I think it'd be a, a good idea to keep those ideas fresh in everyone's mind. And this is, in fact, the this is the kind of thing we might see more often in their. Uh, employee gift sets than we'll see in uh, mainline releases. Not that uh, I guess none of these are mainline releases. I mean, the Walmart exclusives, the packaging, the uh, the spend so much at the Lego store. Uh, only the building bed, building bigger thinking. That's it's really hard to remember what that's called. That's the only <laughs> mainline release out of the, the ones death, we've the shown. Death, lyrics, whatever it is. <laughs> Harder, better. <laughs> Faster, Faster building. <laughs> so I guess that's about it. I hope you learned something, and I hope you're rushing out to see how much these sets go for on the aftermarket now. Guess what? It's more than you think, and uh, it's I'm more than it should be. You ain't getting it. I'm sad faced that I'm not getting the truck, but I'm happy faced that I have both of these in my Bricklink store at fifty dollars each. And plus, so let's say you. Yeah. Let's say you don't sell them, uh, uh, like by the time the next convention comes up, and you say, so let's say you you find one of those from a vendor there that was at like fifty bucks. Would you spend the fifty bucks just to complete the set, or would you be like, no, twenty bucks was enough. I'm not going to spend even more than that on forty five bricks. Twenty bucks was pushing it. It was. It wasn't just that it was twenty bucks. It was that you had to jump through so many hoops to get it. I don't think I'm gonna be buying like. I'd consider if I could get it for 30 flat for the truck. Watch, they're going to come out of the woodwork when this airs on Friday. Like, I got one for 30. You want it? Um, <laughs> I would consider 30, free 30 shipped 
for right, um, give us some free poly bags <laughs> for that for that set just to uh, potentially increase uh, a package deal with like yeah. selling all these things in one shot down the road. But uh, for now, I'm I'm fine with having it two and holding on to them and seeing what happens. And here's uh, a- Chris's Tudor style. <laughs> guarded arm. Oh, you have it because open. you have it. Oh, okay. I have it because I have it. I got. Yeah, I thought you were pulling up a picture of it. No, no, no. I have it. Relevant. Oh, Paul, Paul, where's yours? You didn't get <laughs> clutch. I of told you to hold one for me, and I'll get it. I told you. you <laughs> I wasn't didn't kidding. Get clutch's secret stash. I got. Uh, I got three, or three of them or four of them. I, I got another announcement. March is the last month for Clutch's Secret Stash, and then April is the first month for a new thing I'm doing Ooh. with stickers. Stickers. Are Something they kiss cut? To do? Something Are they a little kiss less. Cut stickers? Uh, so far, they're all die cut, but kiss cut is an option. <laughs> <laughs> we talked all about kiss cut and die cut stickers at my store when Brian was looking at all my, my cool stuff I have. <laughs> and then we talk about how in every episode of anything, someone's going to ask me if it's kiss cut or die cut. <laughs> I don't go around asking Matt about what types of enamel are used on his pins. I wouldn't be able to fucking tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I did build a spaceship. This there you is go. The spaceship I was building the whole time. I was building three small things. No, I was building one small thing. <laughs> So is that, uh, that your own build like? from whatever the Dimensions parts were? Dimension parts, yeah. Just what came in the box. It's an I eagle spaceship. A... It's an evil spaceship? I don't think so. It's got e- wings eagle, blowing. eagle. Oh, yes, eagle. Oh, exactly. It's got a beak. <laughs> it's a little ice planety. But dark. That's a pretty blue. good build. Well done. This can go in my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> um. Paul, you were saying to Brian at some point that you wanted to build a mini version of a classic spaceship and put it in there. And then Brian's at my store and he and he picks one up off my shelf. He goes, "This is this is exactly what he said he wanted to build." So the um, <laughs> great where's, where's the book back there? Uh, great Lego sets. This book right here that you can't read, but the tall white one. Um, okay. That that comes coupled with a classic space build. Um, which is a mini, like like a perfect for the bottle size, I don't know, Galaxy Explorer or whatever they're called. I don't know my classic space sets because they're all the same set with <laughs> different <laughs> different words. They're all like, it's a ship. This is what it's shaped like. There's a crater plate. Done. Set. <laughs> anyway, look at that book because I'm sure it's like $8 on Amazon or something like that, but... You can get that book, and that comes with the perfect spaceship for your bottle. Check it out. It's called that Great is cool. Legos. That I, I might have to do that. I will keep an eye out for that. I, I currently I have the uh, Millennium Falcon uh, micro fighter in there, so it's a. Uh, uh, oh no, I didn't. I took it out. I don't have it in there anymore. Um, but it was the fastest ship in the galaxy in a bottle. Fastest bottle Ooh. in the galaxy. <laughs> anyway, Paul, let's get out of here. <laughs> Sounds good. So if, if you wouldn't mind, please putting up all of our social media contacts on screen so anybody can reach out to us uh, if they would like to. And while you're doing that, I want to say thank you to everybody watching us on YouTube and listening to us on whichever audio format you feel like using, iTunes, Google Play, whichever one suits you. I um, want to shout out all of our brothers and sisters in the realm of collectors, particularly those that are active on the ROC Facebook page. Feel free to join up and uh, and interact with all of us there. Also, check out the Instagram account as well as realmofcollectors.com where you can get some ROC merchandise, check out the blog, look at other shows that are in uh, the Realm of Collectors umbrella as well. If you like building up to it and want to check out any other nerd-related podcasts, check out the entire the Cool Table Network where you can find an entire family of nerd-related podcasts such as Enter the Realm, Breaking the Mold, Figure Banging, Stasis Lock, Nerd Rage Radio, Shattered Cast Uncut, Plastic Fanatics, Toy Detox, Beer and Bolters 40K, Eight Weeks, and Fresh Communications. Not all the shows are going to be family friendly, but they are all part of a friendly family. Wow. <laughs> One-